Let me see. It's hot. I'm gonna burn myself, you guys. Welcome, welcome back to the Billy Mars channel. You know where you are. Um, so as you know, I recently took a trip to um, an Asian market and um, I was able to find um, some cool things. And one of the things that I found that I've been wanting to try um, was this Japanese ramen. It's Hokkaido style seafood with shrimp and scallop soup. Soup. All right, well, I, the reason I wanted to try it is because I am familiar with Hokkaido has this standard. Um, I've had Hokkaido melon things before, um, which is really expensive melon. So I'm excited to see how their ramen is because if they're known for good quality for their melons and other products, this soup has to be good. So this one's pretty easy. I'm just going to open it. And um, you just add the boiling water to it and then you let it sit. So you don't microwave this. Um, I guess I'll hold it if you care for the ingredients. All right. That's what it looks like. And then we have our direction. So it seems simple. Fold the lid back to the line. Empty only soup pack. What does that mean? All right, back to the line. And we have two packs in here. We've got this big pack. Come on out. Oh, I see what it means. So, we save this pack for the end. This is the oil. I love these ones that come with the little oil packs. I'm just used to the regular ramen, you know? Ramen, square, packet. But I've been branching out and trying new things, so it's really cool. So, this is the noodle. Noodles in there, your noodle block, circle, whatever. And it says to empty the soup packet. Pour the boiling water inside the line, up, fill up to the line, and then close the lid. So I've got my water over there boiling. I'm going to put this packet in. And let's see how I'm bring that water over here. All right, let's see. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, wow. okay. So it's got like corn and some vegetables, some other vegetables. I see some carrots in there. I'm not sure what the green is. Um, there's a lot of things that are green. So I don't want to take a guess here. Um, it smells really good. Oh, it's, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, it's, I don't even want to sniff it now. It, um, it's definitely seafood if you catch my drift because it was uh, fishy smelling. <laughs> so, all right, so let's pour this in. Okay, so we have everything from this packet is empty, sun. All right, so it's gonna shake it around, set you up, and we'll zoom in and we can see how the soup looks. All right, there's the money shot. So it says we're gonna take our boiling water and we're going to pour it and let me see how I'm gonna pour this okay and the line is right here all 
I hope I boiled enough water. <gasps> I did. So there's our line. And we close this flap like that. Pinch it closed. And we let it sit. All right, so the container says to let it wait for three minutes. I kind of put the fork and this packet up top to keep the lid down. I know some people use chopsticks. I wanted to keep the heat in the best that I could. I hope I got it all in that shot pretty good. I couldn't see what I was doing. All right, time to peel this off. Yeah. Peel it off. And I believe we empty the oil packet and stir well. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I sniffed the um, packet and it smelled very fishy. Um, so I'm gonna go on and quit while I'm ahead and not sniff this oil. Cause in my head, I'm just thinking fish oil smell and um yeah i'm not i'm not into that i'm good i'm good all right i kind of want to taste this raw without the oil first let me see it's hot i'm gonna burn myself you guys it's all for you it smells really good in the soup though oh that's nice oh that's really good I mean, it kind of reminds me of chicken ramen, flavor-wise. Oh no, open packet. Okay. Ready? I'll do it so you can see. Can you see the oil going in? last drop. Can you see the oil right there by the fork? All right, we're gonna mix it in. Okay, I'm gonna sniff it. Ugh, okay. Oh, I know the smell. I think it's a sesame oil. That smells like sesame oil. Definitely. Usually, when you mix the oil packet in, let me let it settle a little. You can, okay, you can see the oil. Look at that. Now that oil packet has changed the smell of this completely. Here we go. Look at that. Mmm. All right, enough looking, enough. Let's get to tasting. <laughs> okay. I don't have any chopsticks or else I would have used chopsticks, but I don't, so we're going with the fork. I should let this cool down and then show you. Wow, what is in that packet? Seasoning oil, sesame oil, rice bran oil. Hmm. All right, let me see if I can collect my thoughts on this. really good there's a lot of flavor in here it's not fishy I know I said it smelled fishy but it's not taste wise there's no fishiness but um I'm trying to see if I taste shrimp it said Hokkaido shrimp wait where's the cover oh. <laughs> 
Japanese ramen Hokkaido style oh, seafood shrimp and scallop. Shrimp and scallop. Well, I don't really taste shrimp or scallop. I do taste a little shrimp. This is really good. I did get worried when I smelled the fishiness, but it's not. Nice flavor, nice mommy flavor, and um, the noodles are really good. Dude, these noodles' textures are amazing. Look at these noodles. I love these. I really do. And they're the perfect texture. Um, a little bouncing. You could call it QQ, chewy. I like my noodles a little softer, but it tastes really good. So that's about all I have to say for this. If I find more soups like this, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna let you know how they are. That way, when you want to go out there and try different soups. You know, step outside of your square ramen packet. Get out of there. Try new things. There's so many different soups, different types, different flavors. So, if you're into it, go on and click like and subscribe. Make sure you click subscribe. Help this channel grow. And um, I'll see you next time when I have more. Thanks for watching. Toodles. <laughs> Bop bop bop